This is the strength test. I'll be testing the strength and durability of your bayonets by stabbing them into these fuel cans three times. Lyle, you're up first. I'm ready. I was wondering what the gas tanks were going to be, and now I see these look like some tough gas tanks to penetrate. Well, Lyle, your initial fit up was great, and everything held together on this. There was no issue with reattaching it. Very solid. Overall, you made a bayonet. Well done. Thank you. Scott, you're up next. You ready? Don't break it. <laughs> I had difficulty getting my bayonet attached to the rifle, so hopefully it will be good enough. Well, Scott, you just barely have it fitting here. It is a design problem, but it is attached enough. I feel like it's still safe to test. Scott, I think your guard has loosened a little bit right here because of the way you had designed it. It didn't fit properly. So there is a little bit of uh, a little wiggle in it. Overall, it still functioned. Thank you. Matt, you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do it anyway. All right. Big relief to see the blade stab through like it was supposed to do. Well, Matt, not too bad. You probably had the loosest fit of all of the bayonets, but your blade pierced into the can very easily. Well done. Thank you. Next step is the sharpness test. For that, I'm going to turn you over to Doug. This is the sharpness test. To test the edge of your blade, I will take your detached bayonet and I will attempt to slice across this fish. If your blades are sharp, it should cut through. Lyle, you're up first. You ready? I'm ready. I've never tried to cut a fish other than to fillet one. I'm so nervous right now. OK, Lyle, the design of your guard did actually get in the way. However, parts of your edge over here did make contact with the fish. It just didn't lacerate. Scott, you're up next. You ready? Ready. I'm extremely nervous about this slicing test. I'm not sure if it's going to quite do it. OK, Scott, the one thing that I'm having an issue here is the lug that you have. Trying to get a good, comfortable feel, it wants to turn the blade out. What it did was it bruised it on the initial cut and then lacerated toward the end. So that's telling me that this is not a very sharp blade. Matt, you're up next. You ready? Let's do it. There's still the issue of the handle. Even though he's slicing fish, you're still going to put some good leverage on there. Uh, pray it works out. <laughs> OK, Matt, very light blade. So the mass is not there to lacerate all the way through. But as you can see, you definitely lacerate it. It's a sharp blade. It will cut. Thank you. Bladesmiths, the judges have made their final decision. It's time for one of you to leave the forge. Scott, your blade did not make the cut. Dave will explain. Scott, historically, a bayonet was a soldier's backup weapon. It had to be fully functional both on and off the rifle. Due to the positioning of the lug on your bayonet, we couldn't get it to fully affix to the rifle. And when it was in your hand, it actually wound up digging into your palm. Scott. Please surrender your weapon. My experience here was a wonderful experience. If I had to do it again, I probably would have paid attention to fitting the lug a little bit better. But if I can give someone encouragement to go out and try something, even if they've never done it, you know, you can make it. <laughs>